Yo, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be talking about comments. And no, I'm not talking about those things you put on my YouTube videos saying how awesome these videos are. No, not those kinds of comments. We're talking about comments in Python. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python in data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So a Python comment is when you prefix anything, any line with a pound symbol or a hashtag for you youngsters here. And this will basically make the code completely irrelevant. You can type whatever you want in here and it's not going to ruin your program or break it. So normally when you have some kind of junk in your code here and you try to run it, it's going to say invalid syntax. But if you replace that with a comment or you can even do it in the middle. So for example, I could comment out this really important message. When we do that, hey, check this out. We can run our code and look, we still get a value of 11. So when do you do comments? Well, first, anytime you got to explain something, you know, if you got some complex algorithm doing junk, you're gonna wanna comment to say what's going on. Or some people will use comments if they need to come back and do something and they just wanna leave some notes, they might use comments for that. Comments are also very useful for passing on code to other developers so you can basically explain how a certain section of code works or what input or output is expecting. That way developers know how to use your code without reading it line by line, which can actually be pretty dang difficult. If you've ever came to a project and you don't know what it does, picking it up can be pretty hard. Even for yourself, in a few years, you're probably not gonna understand any of your old code. So those comments can help you in the future. Now there's one important thing you should know with comments, and that is once you put the pound sign, everything after it is a comment. Meaning it's not possible to put a comment between two things of code. Like we, we couldn't put a comment right here. Because if we put comment, everything after it's going to be affected. We can't end the comment or something like that. That is not possible. Now this is a single line comment. Some languages have the concept of a multi-line comment. Python doesn't really have that. However, there is an alternative, and I'm not saying this is proper. However, you may see this in the future. And that is if you use three double quotes and then end something later on with three double quotes, this works in a similar way to a multi-line comment. So just to show you guys this, let's print some number at the end here and running this, all you see in the output is five. This here is not printed. So what is going on here? Well, we're actually making a multi-line string. So we're gonna get into strings later. However, the thing you need to know here is that we're just creating this string and then it's not being used for anything. The actual code inside of it is not being executed. So although officially this is not a comment, you may see this being used when people want to comment out a large section of code. So for example, we could put numerous print statements in here and none of them are going to execute. Then if you want to uncomment it, boom, all you gotta do is get rid of those right there. And there you go, you get a bunch of different outputs. If you weren't going to do the three double quote version, you would just have to put a pound sign before every single one of these, like so. And that works just the same and that's the, the actual proper way of doing it. And then we just get one output. So that's all I got for you guys on comments. Stay tuned for the next video because we're going to get into how to properly name variables. I know it sounds boring, but it's important. So check it out and don't give up. You got this guys. Keep going. Motivation. Woo.